The absolute fast when you, you eat no food and you drink no water. That's the absolute fast. I don't suggest that, all right? Uh, it's very hard. It's only mentioned a couple times in the Bible. Queen Esther in the Old Testament did that. Paul the Apostle did that. In the, very hard. The next fast is what we call the water fast. And that's when you have no food, but you drink water. Now listen to me. It can't be tap water, okay? It can't be bottled water. It has to be purified water with a pH level, I would suggest, above 7 or 8. Or you're going to have nothing but acid in your stomach, all right? Because it cleanses you, all right? And so that's, that's the water fast. And then the third type of fast they call is the partial fast, especially those who are working full-time. It's called the Daniel fast. And what you do is you abstain from certain meats and, and wine and sweets and desserts and sugar and flour, and you just eat kind of a bare minimum diet. I remember praying for this couple. They were newly married, and they, God opened up a house for them. And uh, the, the husband called me up, and he says, Pastor, would you please pray? Uh, our closing date have, has moved three times. And they keep coming up with glitches and closing on this house. This is our first house. And I am so frustrated. I have prayed, Pastor. I don't know what is going on. And I said, well, can I encourage you to fast and pray? He says, sure. W what do you want to do? I said, well, how many meals do you want to fast this week? And I'll fast the same amount of meals with you. And we'll pray that your light will break forth in the morning. And he says, all right, you know, um, we have another closing, you know, on Friday. This is the fourth closing. I'll fast three meals one day. And I said, all right, I'll do the same. And pray specifically, every I will be dotted, every T will be crossed, no glitches. Well, that Friday came. They didn't cancel the closing. Do you think he was happy? Do you think his light broke forth like the morning? Maybe God was just telling him, you need to press in a little bit more with fasting. Some things aren't always a quick yes and no from the Lord. Sometimes you've got to battle for it. And that's what this means. Your light shall break forth like the morning. Some people feel like they're living in darkness. Perhaps a little fasting. We'll bring that forth. Number two, let's go to the second one. Your healing shall spring forth what? Well, pastor, do we need to fast to be healed? No, but would you like a faster healing? No, you don't have to fast to get healed. But if you are really serious about getting healed, fasting will help. When I pray for people for the baptism of the Holy Spirit, I ask them to fast a meal or two that week, and it comes quicker. It comes speedily. Thank you for listening to the teaching from the Word of God. My name is Paul Height. I'm the pastor of Evangelical Christian Church, located at 1325 Watertown Ave in Waterbury, Connecticut. We would love to have you join us and worship Jesus Christ this coming Sunday at 1030. Now may God bless you, and may he continue to cause you to grow in the grace and the knowledge of his Son, Jesus Christ.